This is Baby Blush, a free to play account where we're currently trying to complete the game by earning rank 1 rewards in the Champions Finals, which requires you to win 19 out of the 20 games that you have in this limited time event. Because if we don't manage to do this before the end of the game cycle, we have to delete our club. So, in today's video, with the new team of the season on the horizon, I gave myself another 100 hours to make as much progress on the account as I possibly could and complete the game by earning those rank 1 rewards. So, after selling our terrible players in the last video, we had over 1.3 million coins. I will also add some gaps in our team, and so using some players that we had in our club, I would fill these positions for now so that I could purchase players with our coins when prices were better. Now the reason we needed an operational team was because there were objectives that we could complete as well as rival rewards that needed to be earned and we were going to need these packs so badly because at the time the Premier League team of the season was in packs and these packs would give us a good chance of packing some of them and if we could pack a good player I would have a better idea of how to spend the coins. First game and this guy has an awful team. Rodri can you win the ball back here? He does. His card feels so good. Let's find Zola. And we're in the lead. Rodri again now. What a pass into Mbappe, who does some good skill. We find Zola, back to Mbappe. And this is too easy. And this team would continue throughout the remainder of the first game. And after winning the first, I would win the second, as well as the third game that I played in a row. And through doing so, we were making some good progress towards reaching Division 2. Now this was massive, because if we could make it into Division 2, we could upgrade the rewards that we receive. And I was determined to do this because of how I planned to spend my time. So we completed the daily play objectives, and we're getting some decent packs now. And for the daily play completionist objective, we could earn another pack. And I plan to spend my time by preparing our team as best as I possibly could, through earning as many upgrades as I could for it, so that we could perform well in the champions finals and after failing to complete the game last week by being one win short complete the game this week by getting that one extra win so the first upgrade that i want to work towards is completing the rest of zambrata's card and that will be a massive improvement on our left back position now to do that we're gonna need some high rated players and in the first pack we're getting a spanish cam from barca but it's only going to be an 83 rated player the next pack would give me an 83 rated player followed by an 84 in the pack after that and in the fourth pack that i opened while the best player that i got was only 81 rated because of the fact that we got a duplicate and we now had more players in our club I was capable of using the duplicate to complete one of Zambrata's squads. Now with the final two squads, both requiring team of the weeks, using the resources in our club, I would complete a team of the week player pick. And with the 86 rated team of the week that we got, okay, we can actually afford to complete Zambrata's penultimate squad. Now the final squad wasn't too expensive, but at the time we couldn't afford to complete it, but I couldn't play any more games because of the fact that I had used Theo. Unfortunately for us, with constant refreshing, I could do the daily login SPC because we had now completed the entire objective, we earned ourselves an 84 times 5 pack. Now the first out of the three packs that I opened would would us with an 86 rated player and in the second pack the highest rated player would be 83. Final pack can we get a premier league team of the season? No we're not getting a team of the season but it's a german cdm and i think that's an 87. Yes we just got ourselves an 87 rated player. Now because we needed a team of the week i would complete another team of the week player pick and with us not having that many resources left in our club getting an 87 rated team of the week was massive because it meant that we didn't have to spend too many coins to complete the final squad for zemperatus spc and just like that we've just acquired an insane upgrade for our team who's definitely going to help us in the next champions final and we were executing our plan perfectly. Now after adding him into our team, I swear that we only needed two more wins to guarantee some insane rival rewards and after entering into division rivals, in the first game that I played, I would do well to take the lead and after this, on his debut, Zabrata would help us to create an opportunity and even though we weren't capable of nope. seizing it, at this point our opponent decided that they had enough and they would throw in the towel. Okay, that's our sixth win and while we do need one more win to get some rewards, winning our next game will also promote us into division 2. Now after finally giving our club a name in the last video, I decided to put some effort into selecting a couple of of nice kids and then also completely revamping our stadium and the more i played on this account the more it started to feel like my baby okay this is our promotion game mbappe now let's go for goal and it actually goes in but it seemed like we weren't going to earn promotion that easily oh no he's down the wing we need to get to him and he scores a simple goal and after scoring their goal my opponent would have a couple of decent opportunities and i seem to be having trouble playing with the team that we had rodri now let's find zico i'm gonna go straight through here zico scores now it pains me to say it but in this game us scoring was against the run of play and after scoring the trend of my opponent getting loads of opportunities would continue and it only made sense that eventually some of these opportunities would start to go in and that's exactly what happened we have to get there no way and after conceding five i would forfeit this game but because i still needed one more win to qualify for division level rewards and i knew how significant the upgrading rewards would be i would rush into two more games and we were capable of comfortably winning both of these games resulting in us once again being one win away from from reaching division 2. Okay we're guaranteed rewards now but we need to win this game to upgrade them. But early on into this game, now he has a play at the back post. 
That's such a cheesy goal. My opponent would then score another goal that was annoying to concede, but the problem that I had at this point wasn't the fact that I was conceding goals, but rather the fact that with this lineup, I just wasn't capable of scoring any at this level. And once again, just before reaching Division 2, we would fall short. Now this bothered me, because with the plan that I had to spend my time, I wanted to get the best possible rewards that I could, and so after finding some new custom tactics, that complemented the players that we had in our team better, because of the fact that it had three midfield positions, I would continue to play in Division Rivals, and in my first game, after easily scoring two goals, forcing our opponent to rage quit, we would win it and for the third time, be one win away from reaching division 2. You know what they say, third time's the charm. And with the way this formation played, we posed a way bigger threat in the attack. Mbappe, good skill? And we're in the lead. Now admittedly, these tactics did leave us a lot more vulnerable in the defense, but sometimes a great offense is the best form of defense. Zola, extends our lead. Zico into Essien, we find Zola. We have so many options, and these tactics are insane. And our opponent rage quits, which means that we've just been promoted into division 2, and we're guaranteed way better rewards, including 4 86 times 3s. And after that massive grind, we had completed tons of objectives, allowing us to earn so many packs, which later on were going to be incredibly important, because there would be two SPCs that come out later on for which i would need over half a million coins worth of fodder to complete oh yeah and our coins couldn't help us to do that either because even with the 1.5 million that we had i was still slightly short of being able to afford the players that i wanted to purchase so the highest rated squad that we can build is only 82 can we improve on that on our first pack no my next three packs wouldn't be the greatest either but my penultimate pack guaranteed premier league players only and so i felt like i had a decent chance of packing a premier league team of the season no we're not getting a premier league team of the season from this one and i think that's just going to be an 84 that is so underwhelming we do have a guaranteed team of the season here now. Can we get a Premier League team of the season from this one? I think that's going to be McAllister. And so we do get a Premier League team of the season, but unfortunately it's not an upgrade for our team. However, from 82, we could now build an 86 rated squad. On this day, I would start off by completing the daily login SPC. This allowed me to get some packs from objectives, but with it being Thursday, we were also capable of claiming our division level rewards, of which one of these rewards guaranteed us a team of the season player. Come on, give me Van Dyke. Oh, we do get a Liverpool player, but I'm still going to take the highest rated one for fodder. I would then crack open the objective packs that we had earned, before delving into our division level rewards. No team of the season from the first pack, it's going to be a Belgian centre forward. No, that's horrible, because we need high rated players. And for that same reason, the next four packs weren't the greatest either, but I I was leaving the best packs for last. I expect to start getting some good things. No, that's not good. But our final four packs guarantee us at least three walkouts each. First pack, and we got a team of the season. It's a Nigerian striker. Ossiman's not in the team of the season, which means that we could still have an absolutely insane player behind him. Oh, and it is a Premier League left back. And even if he doesn't get into our team, we're getting a decent amount of highlighted players. Can we get back to back team of the seasons? Yes, we can. And we're getting a Jamaican striker from City. No way, is this who I think it is? It is, and it's going to be two team of the seasons. And that's an absolute insane pool. He's 96 rated and worth over 150,000 coins on the market. Can we do back to back to back? Yes, we can. We're getting another team of the season and this time it's a Uruguayan goalkeeper who's going to be a 92 rated. But once again, I think we're getting two team of the seasons. Oh, no way. And the second team of the season is a duplicate 94 rated Allison. And with him and the other players that we had packed, we could now build a 91 rated squad. Okay, I'm going to quick sell Allison because there's no SPCs that I want to complete right now and we can recover him with the web app. Is our final pack going to give us a team of the season no the streak ends but we are gonna get two walkouts with the highest rated card being 87 and with more resources in our club i was capable of crafting a team of the week player pick which i would then use to craft an 84 times 7 upgrade pack we're on a roll right now but we're not gonna be getting a team of the season from our upgrade pack and it's just going to be parejo and unfortunately he would be our only walkout as well i would then update our team before then completing another team of the week player pick but because of the fact that our resources were exhausted at this point we had to spend coins in order to complete the 84 times 7 upgrade pack and this was our final opportunity to get an upgrade for this session. No, once again we're not getting a team of the season and it's going to be Tony Cruz but this time it is at least going to be two walkouts and the second walkout is 88 rated. Now once content had refreshed, a new cup was introduced in which we could earn ourselves a guaranteed team of the season pack as well as a significant amount of XP that would allow us to climb the season pass and work towards some decent rewards. There were also new daily objectives and I could also complete the daily login SPC once again but after doing so, in order to benefit from the cup rewards, I would set my team up before entering into my first game. Now those first game was tough and in it we would be taken to extra time where unfortunately we would ultimately end up losing however i would continue to play and eventually i was capable of picking up my first win so once we had done that because of 
the fact that we had completed some objectives, the rewards that I got through completing these objectives would allow me to get players that would upgrade my team, and upgrading my team made progressing through this cup a lot easier. Wow, we've just earned 2000 XP, which is the equivalent of 2 season pass levels. The rewards that we got from these levels were significant too, because as things stood, if we wanted to complete the new player SPCs, to prepare our team for the champions finals, which was my plan after all, and after the season pass, I would claim the cup rewards, and we now had a guaranteed team of the season pack to open. Can we get ourselves another Premier League team of the season? It's Portuguese, and it's a centre forward. Oh no, we've just gotten ourselves one of the worst team of the seasons. I would then add one of the cup rewards into our cup team, because there was still one more objective that I could complete for XP, and with a significantly upgraded cup team, I would proceed to win 3 more games, allowing me to complete the entire cup objective. On this day, after completing the daily log in SPC and then claiming all of the available objectives, with the Premier League team of the season almost out of packs, I would try to pack one. Now, unfortunately, our three objective packs wouldn't allow us to get any of them, but with the Champions Finals now being available, it was time for me to spend our coins to upgrade the significant positions in our team. And similarly to last week, where we ended up purchasing Kurif as our talisman, feeling that I still needed a talisman in the attack, I would purchase Ginola's triple threat item for 830,000 coins. Now, with how important fullbacks are in this game, my next significant investment would be purchasing the greatest feature stars left back in the game for a total of 399,000 coins allowing us to upgrade two key areas in our team and leaving us with 300,000 coins to make another upgrade. Now I wanted another attacker because in this game I play better with four attackers and the only reason we've been using three midfielders was because we needed to field a decent team to ground out resources before spending our coins. Now with Garnacho's team of the season being the fourth attacker that I wanted to purchase and him costing 340,000 coins we were still 30,000 coins short from being able to acquire his card however we still also needed to qualify for the champions final and through playing in the qualifiers game mode, we could earn tradable packs, and so I saw this as an opportunity to kill two birds with one stone. I also started to contemplate completing Ronaldinho's SPC, because at the time, we could afford to complete a 91 as well as a 90 rated squad, however with new content coming out in just under 2 hours, I would hold on to our resources, and this would end up being a good decision. Ok, time to test out our new toys. Pasha, let's track this run, and she somehow managed to outstrength Rodri. Zico into Ginola, let's see what he's on, lovely skill, and he almost scored with the toe poke. And in the game it seemed like our upgrades were having a significant impact. Zico Isian's open and that's the easiest goal he'll ever score. Mbappe finally has someone on his level in the attack. Ginola is gonna have to do some work if we want to score here. Okay these skills are a bit unnecessary but Ginola scores anyway. Now for Ginola's second goal in this game he wouldn't do anything unnecessary and after scoring it my opponent deemed it necessary to leave the game allowing us to pick up our first win in the qualifiers. Now my second and third games would both instill confidence within me because with our new additions we were performing so well within these games and our opponents literally stood no chance at all. After these games, I decided to claim all of the objectives that we had completed and the packs that we were earning presented us with a final opportunity at backing a Premier League team of the season but after opening all of these packs, unfortunately we didn't manage to get one. And with the players that we did get, I would craft a team of the week in order to be able to craft another upgrade pack which surely was our final chance at backing a Premier League team of the season. Now we're not getting a team of the season here and it's just going to be one 87 rated walkout. I would then continue to play in the qualifiers game mode but in my first game back, I would be taught one of the most important lessons for this challenge, which was that no matter what, I needed to always make sure that I was on my A game in order to give myself the best opportunity to win, because in this game, the fact that our team still wasn't completely prepared, it meant that even though our opponent was incredibly skilled, it was still a player that we should beat, but unfortunately us winning this game would not end up occurring. Now in my next game, once again the exact same thing would occur, because I would find a skilled player, and the game would end up being incredibly close, and even though we would end up winning, it was still clear to me that we were not ready to participate in the champions finals just yet, but this made sense because I hadn't yet completely executed my plan. You see, while I had now used coins to upgrade key positions within the team, there was still one more terrible player that I was working towards purchasing, and on top of that, we still had three midfielders in our team, while the formation that I'm most comfortable within is the 4-2-3-1, which is a formation that consists of two midfielders and then four attacking positions. This meant that in order to optimally set up my team, I needed to acquire two new attackers, and Garnacho's price dropping meant that we could now afford one, and on top of that, with content now refreshing and Leroy Sane getting an absolutely insane team of the season item, we finally finally had somewhere to put all of the high rated players that we had gotten to be able to convert them into a massive upgrade for our team. Ok we can easily afford to complete Sana's most expensive squad and now we only need to make a couple thousand coins to be able to purchase Garnacho but we're getting a team of the season from the pack that we got back and it's going to be tradable as well and it's a 92 rated hand call. This is going to allow us to make over 30,000 coins but I'm still going to try to get Garnacho for the cheapest price possible and here's one for 310 and we got him and he's going to be the perfect player to play on our wing and until we got Sane, Lucas Vasquez would play on the other wing. Now speaking of Sane, with the highlighted players that we still had in our club, I could complete two more of 
of his squads. But after doing so, I was shocked to see that we couldn't afford to complete the three final squads. And so in order to progress further, I would continue playing in the qualifiers. And my first game back would be one that I'd ultimately end up losing. But considering the fact that our team was not yet complete, our performance within this game was a sign of promise. Now an even bigger sign of promise would be the fashion in which I won the next game that I played after this. But after disconnecting from the server, causing me to get a loss in my 8th game, I would win the ninth game that I had. And with an upgrade and rewards no longer being possible at this point in my qualifiers run. Now from our rewards, we were capable of adding a few thousand coins to our coin balance and after doing so, I would spend all of our coins to purchase 18 unrated players with my intention being to use the 18 unrated exchange method that we used in the last video to get high rated players to complete Sano and it seemed like we were definitely going to make profit from this batch because in the third and final 18 unrated exchange pack that we could complete, oh we actually got a team of the season and it's great to be the goalkeeper once again but this is massive because he's 92 rated. We also now had more lower rated goal cards in our club and so I would use them to complete as many player picks as I could. We have 25 player picks to open here and in the first one we're only getting an 82 rated player. The next two player picks were as bad but in our fourth one oh we're getting a player with three traits and it's Adeyemi's team of the season card. He could actually get into our team and while we wouldn't get anything too crazy from the remainder of the player picks that we had we were getting a decent amount of high rated players and I think it's fair to say that we had definitely made a profit on our investment. Okay so we can now afford to complete another squad. We can also afford to complete this squad and this is really good because we're going to need Sane before we play in the champions finals. Oh wait we're actually getting a team of the season from the terrible pack that we got back i didn't expect this and it's kowalski and with it being 92 rated we can make a significant amount of coins here now with the players in our club we can't afford to complete signages yet but our tradable player has just sold and we now have 29,000 coins and with no more areas to progress in the game these coins are coming in clutch because using them we can now complete signage's final squad and this means we now have signage's insane team of the season card before entering into the champions finals i would then add Sane into the team both adayumi having 99 pace and us being able to avoid losing coins by selling Garnacho before his price dropped further, I would do exactly that. Okay, so after starting with this team and then successfully executing our plan, our team now looks like this. And with not a lot of time left, it's going to be the team that we take into the champions finals that can hopefully help us to complete the game by earning those rank 1 rewards. And this is how our first game in the champions finals would go. No, he's pulling our defense open. Come on, Yago, I suppose can't do that to us. He makes a decent play. And we're actually losing. And for the entirety of the first half in this game, I would struggle to score. And throughout the early stages of the second half, things would be no different. And I started to realize that if I was going to score, I needed to do something different. Rodri into Mbappe. Let's do an Elastico. We into some space. And we've equalized. And throughout the remainder of this game, we would proceed to hold our opponents out. However, our next good opportunity would only come in the final minute. Ginola finds Sane. He tries to tackle us. But Sane scores. And that first game was way too close for comfort. Now the second game was too. And however, the third game would be a lot easier but because we were struggling this early on i thought that we needed something so we have insane players in every position but to be honest with you the center backs that we have are still quite average because of this i looked at the spc section for center backs that we could complete and while kunate would be an insane player to add into our team considering the fact that we needed an upgrade for this champions finals he was just way too expensive now simakan also had an spc and he was a lot more affordable and so even though at the time we could only build an 82 rated squad i started to feel like we had a good chance of completing him when i claimed all of the objectives that we had completed during in those games and completed the daily login SPC, allowing me to get even more packs. Okay, we need high rated players now so that we can get an upgrade. No team of the season in the first pack, but is that going to be Van Dyke? No, it's only going to be an 83 rated. My next pack was even worse, and in it, I would only get an 82 rated player. Third pack now, this one's going to be a Scottish center mid, and I think that's an 86. Okay, it's only going to be one, but at least we got a walkout. Now, unfortunately, these packs would only be downhill from here, and by the time I only had two packs left, I couldn't open them because I had a duplicate to get rid of. There was no SPCs that we could complete. I would end up discarding this duplicate so that i could open my final two packs no we're still not getting a team of the season but it's an english cam and it's going to be madison who was not good enough because he was only 84 rated okay final pack is an 84 times four no we're not going to be getting a team of the season but i think we are going to be getting son we did he's 87 rated but it is going to be two walkouts as well and the second walkout's 87 rated too now, even with all of our players we still couldn't craft the most expensive squad however we were a lot closer now but after seeing this i knew that the only way forward was to continue playing in the champions finals and completing objectives and so that's exactly what i would start to do now my first game pack wasn't easy and in this game my opponent's top tier attackers were having a field day against the center backs that we had but even though this was the case we would still end up coming out on top and it was evident to me that we had made some good decisions in the attack and my fifth game wasn't too much of a challenge either and i wish i had the resources to have these top tier players in every position but once again in the sixth game that i played the theme of our defense being our weakest link would continue and in this game even though attackers were capable of scoring two goals they weren't capable of bailing out our defense i have after conceding three we would be thrown a lifeline.
man. No, he goes for gold from outside the box. Okay, but we save it. Wait, did we just disconnect? No, the game didn't count for us. And I think the universe is trying to tell us something. And because I thought this, I would replace Adeyemi with Lucas Vasquez because he was a more defensive player all around. The best thing would happen in my next game because my opponent would give me a free win. And after getting this free win, I saw that if I could win one more game, I could earn an 83 times 10 pack, which could be instrumental in allowing us to complete a new center back SPC. Now he has it in a dangerous position, but we managed to tackle him. Sane now into Ginola who finds Mbappe. Can we get three here? He's not even controlling his center backs. And the rest of the first half in this game would continue to be a stalemate. A good portion of the second half would be exactly the same. And I started to feel like our attackers didn't pose too much of a threat. Mbappe on the ball now. You can have to do everything yourself. Mbappe, we get through. Yes, we finally score. But in a game where neither player seemed to be able to score, as soon as one did, we could tackle there but he falls into our left back. And he falls straight into his path and we concede in the worst way possible. And in a frustrated manner, I would be forced to continue to play. Where in order to make it to extra time, I had to defend a dangerous opportunity from my opponent. No, why is our defense so open? And how does it get through to him? Good save from Allison. And we clear it out. And as soon as I had the opportunity, I would sub Adeyemi on for Vasquez to give myself a greater chance of being able to score. Zico on the ball now. We need to find somebody. We have Zambrata here into Mbappe. He's blocking us. That has to be a pin. Yes, it is. Mbappe scores the penalty and after taking the lead i would continue to apply pressure onto my opponent and this game reinforced my belief that i performed best with four attackers both how poorly our defenders defended i knew that in order to get the rank one rewards that would give us the best chance at packing some of the insane team of the seasons available and also saving our club i had to acquire an upgrade now okay so we completed one objective but it has given us an 83 times 10 now oh, please this has to be insane yes we are getting a team of the season portuguese center mid okay it's two walkouts and the second walkouts are team of the season but it's only an 88 rated one but we do now have a lot more fodder and with these resources the first thing that i would do would be acquiring a team of the week player before finding out that there were no upgrade spcs available and then using the other high rated players that we had to complete the most expensive squad for the center back okay one more squad to go now but we barely have any players in our club because of this i knew that i had to enter back into the champions finals but before doing so i would revert back to our four attacker setup with the hopes that by using a setup that i was comfortable with i would have an easier time in the champions finals no i shouldn't have pulled the defender across and that goal is on me now fortunately with Ginola being as broken as he is i was capable of equalizing the game in a cheap manner but i started to realize that defending in the aggressive manner in which i did was definitely not the best choice with the defenders who we had allison could save there's no way it bounces back to him and as the game would continue my opponent would proceed to get more opportunities and it became clear to me that i needed to defend in a slower manner no way he gets through and we're down by three goals against an awful player and with such a small margin for error in this challenge i couldn't afford to lose against somebody who i knew i could be Ball into Ginola, this has to be the first, and it is. Ginola finds Adeyemi, can we get through here? We do. We have to score from here? Yes, we're one goal away. But as soon as I started to have more hope, no, how can he find passes that easily? We have to close him down? Why am I conceding this easily? And with only 30 minutes left in this game, I somehow needed to find a way of scoring too. We find Ginola here, lovely skill, this card is so good. But as time went on, my opponent would continue to utilize the pace that their attackers had, and this allowed them to constantly create opportunities. Now I could create opportunities of my own but all the time that was left these didn't matter unless i could score them probably we need to find something here later on so a good challenge and we've equalized but after this my opponents would earn themselves a corner in the 82nd minute yes that's ours all day long now there's no way it falls to him and he just gets an open shot and now he's literally just wasting time this game is so frustrating to play and even with team press our players aren't closing him down because of this i would cue a pause before trying my best to get the ball out knowing that the only way i'd have an opportunity in this game was through applying constant pressure defensive tactics but somehow after the game resumed i saw that we were given the throw in we have it with janola sign is open this has to be a goal and now there's no way I'm losing to this guy. But after failing to score against him in the 91st minute, if I wanted to win, I'd have to do it in extra time. Zambrata's making a good run here. Let's find Mbappe. Can we find a pass into Zico? Yes, we have the lead finally. Wait, is he going to leave after that? Yes. I guess he knew he was lucky to be in the lead. And after going through what I just had to, and then having to deal with a horrible kid clash against a decent player in my ninth game, the fact that I ended up winning in both of these situations proved to me that my resilience levels were only growing, and this would help me to win the 10th game that I played as well. Now, as soon as content refreshed, I would rush to complete the daily login SPC, allowing me to get a few packs. And after opening these packs, with the players that I got, I could not complete Simokan's SPC, but only if I used Hanko to do it. And even though for chemistry reasons, this was 
was the center back that I wanted to replace. At this point, I decided against doing this. Okay, so after half of our games, we're still flawless, and I'm going to continue to try to earn those rank 1 rewards. But in my 11th game, I would go down early on against a tough opponent. And with the record that we had at this point, it was only normal that we'd start to face tougher players, and at this level, any weakness in your team would be exposed. Now off of a corner, I would try to create myself an opportunity, but after losing the ball, my opponent would hit me on the counter attack. Now our center backs need to be able to catch up with him, I have to move the keeper, but he stays composed. And I started to feel like I need a change, and at this point, I was looking for anything. Vasquez now, who finds Zambrotta, into Chinolo, who finds Sane. Okay, that's one back. A simple through pass would then give my opponent another opportunity, and if I wanted to come back, this is something we couldn't afford. No way, this might be our first loss. But like I said, I was a lot more resilient now, and so I would continue to try my best to make the comeback, but I'd be lying if I said that I didn't feel like I was being held back. Rodri now, into Essien, who finds Sane. Okay, we somehow need two goals in the final 10 minutes. And trust me, I would give it my all, and as the game continued, I felt like I started to become more and more favoured to win. However, this was too little too late, and unfortunately, by the time the 90 minutes ended, the scoreline meant that we had just picked up our first loss. Now naturally, this meant that the next game would be a bit easier, and with this in mind, I believed in my ability to win the next game that I played, and after doing so, in good spirits, I would enter into my 13th game, and this would end up being a comfortable win. Okay, we need to somehow win the last 7 games that we have in a row. And with the objectives that we had completed, and the packs that we were earning, I started to believe that we would have reinforcements for these final 7 games. But with the first 5 packs that I opened being awful, this belief was starting to dwindle. 83 times 5 now. How have we not gotten a team of the season yet? I think this is only going to be an 84. No, we can't be getting players like this. 85 times 3. No team of the season, but this needs to be a lot better. And I think we just got an 87. But it is two walkouts. Oh, and the second walkout's 89 rated. And without even using the 89, we can complete Simakin's final squad. And this means that we finally have a competent center back. We literally possessed every single defensive trait. Now, after adding him into our team, using the 89 that we packed, I would complete a 51 player pack so that I could get low rated gold cards, which I could then use in the market matchups SPC, with my goal being to acquire the 50k pack as a good reward. Because along with the addition of a new center back, there was an addition that I wanted to make with coins because of a game that caused me problems earlier on. And before doing the market matchups, I would complete the UCL market matchups SPC because my goal was to get up to 350,000 coins and after completing this SPC, already the packs that we got back allowed us to make a little bit of progress towards that. I would then complete the market matchups SPC and after making roughly 10,000 coins from the lesser packs that we earned from the group reward, we needed to make 7,000 coins. No, a tradable team of the season would have been really good but it's going to be a Spanish right back from Barca. Okay, it is going to be an 85 rated player and thanks to this player, I was capable of making roughly 11,000 coins from the pack and making these coins meant that we can now afford to purchase Real Madrid's third kit and it looks absolutely insane on our players. And for my OCD, we also stayed above 300,000 coins. Now, after taking a much needed, I would continue to play in the Champions Finals and in the first three games that I played back, the two additions that we made to our club were showing their value because even though it was only cosmetic, I felt like this kit gave me superpowers. But on top of that, Simo Kun was rock solid in the defense as well. At Yemi now, let's go straight through. His speed is so good. What a finish! Yes, our opponent rage quits and we've just won the last three games in a row. And this meant that we only had four games to go oh no he has the ball in some space on the wing seems like he knows how to play this game how does it go to him good save no way it falls back to him though and this was annoying because this was a good player and it would take a lot out of us to score no his career is making a good run how does he get that far ahead lovely save from allison but it falls back to him once again and he crosses it and we've just conceded a second goal like that and against this good player as the game proceeded it became clear to me that the preparation that i did for this champions finals was just not sufficient because we went into it with a subpar defense as well as an attack that just didn't have that much depth to it but no matter what i made sure to give every game my all but i started to feel like at this level the smallest of margins make the biggest difference and it would be these small margins that caused us to lose our second game now feeling demoralized after falling short last week by only one game i would lose my 18th game in the champions finals and while winning my 19th meant that i was guaranteed rank 3 rewards because of the fact that we couldn't upgrade it i would gift my final game away as a free win meaning that this week once again we had failed to complete the game but with how good the rank 3 rewards were it meant that we had a good chance of getting some of the absolutely insane bundesliga team of the seasons and these rewards could completely transform our team first player pick now please give me a good center back no that's not a good center back and i'm going to take sancho here final player pick come on please no way we just got musiala's team of the season card i have to take him 
at this point, I wasn't familiar with how much he was worth, but trust me, after finding out, I started to feel so much better about this pool. And after already getting one absolutely insane upgrade, we still had all of our packs left from rewards that could allow us to make even more upgrades. First pack is not going to be a team of the season, but it looks like it's going to be an 88 rated Oblak, and it is. And with insane SPCs being released all the time, these are always valuable. I would then start opening the terrible packs that we had, with the first one being underwhelming, however the second pack then making up for it, allowing us to make a decent amount of coins from the two terrible walkouts that we pulled. But after making these coins, I set the terrible players that we had in our team to the transfer list, and then put them up for sale as well, to avoid losing coins on them, with terrible cards in this game, constantly losing value. Okay, three terrible packs left, with one of them guaranteeing us three Bundesliga team of the seasons. Now the first pack is not going to give us a team of the season, and I think it's just going to be an 84 rated player. But even though it was, I was still capable of squeezing out roughly 20,000 coins from this pack. An ultimate pack now? No, we're not going to be getting a terrible team of the season from this one, and I think that's only an 85. That was literally the bare minimum. Three tradable Bundesliga team of the seasons? Come on, German center back no i thought we got schlotterbeck but we actually got one of the worst ones and along with him we also got the goalkeeper and our third team of the season is only going to be adeyemi i'm disappointed i would list the players that we packed and with them being team of the seasons we could get a decent amount of coins from them but after adding the absolutely insane additions that we acquired into our team overall when comparing it to the team that we started this video with it is without a doubt significantly better and with some of our players selling and us still waiting on others to sell we would have over 1.6 million coins to work with and so after feeling like it wouldn't be possible i started to feel like we would actually be capable of saving our team now if you guys enjoyed this video you'll enjoy one of these ones so go ahead and click on any of those videos to watch them